Hey everyone, it's Andrea, the Martial Arts Woman. Hope you're having a great night. I was looking for some inspiration to share on live and I thought, where am I gonna find something inspiring tonight? I did an inspiring post this morning about um, a, a saying from Buddha. So tonight I actually went to my own inspiration, my own book, The Martial Arts Woman. And um, this particular book was the first version and um, my mom has since passed away but this one was her version that I wrote to her and so it's very special and um, has a message in there for her anyway I'm going to talk about the martial art promise which is one of the chapters in this book but you know reading it right now I thought it's so inspirational that I, it's really something I should share and something I should read um, for other people to hear because you know, women have to make a special promise to themselves when they're martial artists. And I'm gonna read some excerpts right out of my book, The Martial Arts Woman, that talks about this. So first, um, a woman makes promises every day. She promises to be a caring daughter, a good wife or partner, a loving mother, a reliable sister, and a meaningful friend. She is often a caretaker and a woman of sacrifice. A martial art is a personal promise that I make to myself. It is a refreshing, uplifting, and encouraging diversion from daily life and helps me to cope with all the tasks and responsibilities that I have in all my other roles. The woman who makes the martial art promise has the opportunity to put all of her promises aside and seek discovery of her spirit. When she is in class, she does not have to think about anything except her own learning of the techniques and skills presented. My martial art promise to myself is a focus that goes inward and is philosophical, which is a drastic change from how and what I think in some of my other roles. Typically, there is no time in class to think about what needs completion at home or at work. It is my chance, my personal promise of self-development and I try to make it a promise not easily broken. I am renewed because this promise helps me to establish who I am and who I want to be. Beneath the surface of my everyday character and demeanor is a woman warrior who hopes to find new energy, fulfillment, and confidence. My practice is a mental retreat and the one place where I can logically face my fears, regrets, worries, and insecurities and diligently work through each one. Like the thickest fiber of a rope, the martial art promise winds its way through a woman's life. She starts to realize that all of her commitments connect with varying degrees of priority. The martial art promise strengthens every aspect and helps her develop a strong and positive mindset in all facets of her life. Once this promise takes root, the martial art woman will never need to resort to negativity or to being a victim again without examining these alternatives. Her martial art promise holds the key to breaking mental barriers and obstacles. When the martial art woman makes this promise to herself, a continuum begins. It affects all that she does inside and outside the dojo. There should be no hesitation and no looking back. Forward moving, ever ready and committed. The promise is worth it. Whatever gaps are missing and any areas of weakness that a woman has will strengthen through her ongoing martial art promise. Her martial art enhances all of her other roles and all of her other actions. When she partakes in this particular mindset, she knows without a doubt that it is the most ambitious and crucial promise that she can ever make. So, you know, it's such an inspiring little chapter that I wrote for the Martial Arts Woman book. And, you know, looking back on it, I always feel like somebody else wrote these things when I read them because I'm like, wow, that really makes sense. Or that's so profound or that's so important. And um, it's really important to know that the martial art woman is a woman who has to make a promise to herself. She has to make it a priority. And even if it's just for that hour or two a week, she gets to break away and 
you know, be a martial art woman. That's her role for that time, and it's so empowering and gives her the chance to become more than she imagined that she would ever be. I like the fact that uh, a woman makes promises every day because she does fulfill so many different roles and how this chapter explains that the martial art promise is another promise that she makes to herself that she must stick to and and for just a little bit of time break away from all the other roles that she plays. So I hope that you're inspired by this little um, explanation of one of the chapters in my book, The Martial Arts Woman, called The Martial Art Promise. And I think that um, if you reflect on your own martial art practice, that you'll recognize the promises that you make too. It all evolves around her nature, um, of who she is, all of the other roles that she plays in life, but how you really have to make your martial art practice a priority, uh, a promise to yourself that you don't give up on, just like any other important promise, the promise of being a good mother, the promise of being who you want to be. Um, so it's really a, a very profound and important promise that we as women make to ourselves. It does fill gaps, it fills weaknesses, it fills areas that we've struggled with before, it uh, fills areas that are um, difficult, prior abuses, traumas that some women have had, they make a promise through martial arts that that will never happen to them again. And that's why making the promise of learning a martial art is so important. So if you're a woman out there who um, is practicing martial arts, kudos to you for keeping a personal promise that really is going to change your life forever and make you a better person because of it. So hang in there, continue your practice, lady. Keep your promise to yourself and continue to be true to yourself and the martial art woman that you are meant to be. So on that note, I hope you have a wonderful night, day, whatever time it is for you. And we'll talk again soon. And don't forget about your martial art promise to yourself.